Okay, welcome back to another repair video. What we've got today is this. This is a UView Talk Talk box from Huawei. Um, it's stuck in uh, boot. It's not booting. It's basically lights come on. Doesn't actually do anything. So I'm going to try a few things. See if we can get it working again. It's quite old. As you can see the dust built up inside. I've whizzed the screws off. First thing we're going to do, so just believe me that it's not booting, I'm going to disconnect the hard drive and then um, see if, if it gets to anything. It won't start up correctly without a hard drive, but it might stop it not fully booting. And then I've got a few other ideas how we can get it working. These boxes aren't worth much anymore. This is the older 370 model. Um, it was replaced with a 372 and I think they've even gone to a slightly newer one now. But let's see what we can do with it because... You know, no point in putting these things in the bin, is there? Okay, so we're plugged in. Let's switch it on. We've got, uh, got no signal at the moment. So we press this button down here. These lights will start blinking. So let's leave it for a minute. No signal generated yet, but it does take a few minutes. Um, just leave it for like 30 seconds. It should normally come up with the logo on the screen. So it's been about 30 seconds, nothing going on, no video output yet. So I think we might need to look a little bit further into this box. I am going to try the hard reset, which I'll do in just a second. That's just a matter of holding a couple of these buttons down. Okay, so let's try doing a hard reset on this device. Um, we're going to switch the power on there, and then we're going to press the power button here and hold down minus channel minus volume I have a feeling it's not going to boot so we're going to try a proper repair on it I think no no but what we should get up is a maintenance menu is a logo and a maintenance menu so that's not working still got the flashing lights what we're going to do is take this heat sink off we'll take this board out take the heat sink off and we're going to heat the main chip to see if it is overheated and um, no longer settled where it needs to be so we're going to cover it in flux take this off cover it in flux heat it up see if we can get it booting again okay so we've whipped the board out of this box um, need to get this heat sink off so I'm just going to squeeze together these plastic pins that are on the bottom of here and that and push it out slightly Hopefully they're not trapped too much. That's all good. We're expecting that to have a... Oh, well, it's, it's not a heat paste. It's like some of that sort of blue tacky looking stuff. So, we're probably not... Oh, dear. <laughs> probably going to have to replace this with a bit of heat paste or something. So these boxes aren't really worth a lot anymore. Like I said, they've been superseded by new boxes. This is quite an old box. So this is just out of interest, really. See if... Because I have repaired other TV boxes that have, get the same fault, essentially. Um, and heating up the main processor to sort of 400 degrees or so tends to bring it back to life. So there we go. Main processor exposed there. Get some flux and get the heat source, which is a hot air gun, out to... Uh, actually, let's just brush the dust off a bit. Um, yeah, get a heat source out and see if we can do something that brings it back to life. So more flux than you will ever need, really, to pour on there. I've only mean, got a little bottom of that. And then we're going to heat it up. I've got it set to 450. This is my lovely heat gun. Let's uh, wait for it to get to temperature and see what happens. Well, I can smell that lovely flux already. All we're doing is constantly moving um, the heat gun around the main chip. We need to do this for about five minutes, so I'll either pause or fast forward through the video. It's going to be a bit smelly because of that flux. 
but hopefully this will bring it back to life. Right, here we are then. That's been about five minutes. That chip is well and truly heated. We are, I'll shut this off. Turn the temperature down. Hang it up. While that cools down, that is absolutely roasting hot now. Um, I'll try and find a little bit of heat paste maybe. Or maybe we'll just start it up as is with just banging the heat sink back on see if we get any form of connection or 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 the it doing it the box doing anything at all um if you wanted to know anything else about these boxes they're pretty much the same as a lot of tv boxes antenna system in a big shielded box that's standard these boxes are quite old so they got scarp leads hdmis network connection uh, USB, which according to the manual doesn't really do a lot. Power in, and then um, a power switch. SATA connection for the hard drive and various power connections for the front board, etc. Not really a lot to these boards. They are made, I'm pretty sure they make these for about two quid. Um, very cheap electronics. I'm surprised they last as long as they do. So let's uh, whiz back over to the TV, bang the heat sink on and see if we've got life. Okay, back over by the TV now. Let's um, pop the power cable in. Switch the power to the TV on. Power up the box from the main switch. And then we press the standby button. Let's give it 30 seconds and come back and see if we get a video output. So here we are, back again. No change. Right, well, there's not really worth there's not really worth spending any more time on this. I've got a spare power pack for these boxes if I need it. I can test the hard drive and see if that's still usable. If you've got any other ideas how to uh, repair this, let me know. Like I said, not everything's repairable. It's just the way it is. And obviously there's also an amount of time you can spend on these cheaper electronics, whether it's worth uh, worth the time. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you found it interesting and possibly useful. And like I said, comment below if you've got any other ideas that I might be able to try to get this box going. I mean, it could be a couple of capacitors, but everything looks okay on the board to me. Um, yeah. And there's definitely heat arising from, from the main chip, so things are powering up. See you next time.